All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. And this is, again, the Knives Fast channel. Like, comment, subscribe, stick around, watch some videos, have some fun, and we're going to show you two cool knives that I am really grateful to have in on the channel <clears throat> at the same time through the pass around groups. Now, uh, both of these come by way of the lefty pass around group, but they're, of course, sent to him by Vosti. This is the Vosti Psyop and the Vosti Mini Psyop. Now, just to get this uh, off, this is a double review. Uh, it is gonna be a longer video than usual. I've not ever reviewed either one of these knives. So we're gonna review both of them <clears throat> on this video. One is more budget, one is more premium. Uh, this one is not currently available, um, and this one is, but we're gonna go through that and we're gonna compare them, which I think is the best part of this video because you guys can see the size comparison and that is helpful. So let's start with the one that's available. This is the P2303, uh, the mini PSYOP comes in the packaging with the uh, with the can and the, um, the zip pouch. And then of course, we'll get this out of the way too. This is the packaging uh, for the PSYOP, comes with some extra bearings, <clears throat> really, really cool. All right, so uh, let's start with the mini PSYOP. So this guy <clears throat> is in uh, steel liners in there with a contoured carbon fiber. You have a, um, uh, wow, a bar lock here, uh, an axis style lock, if you will. And uh, it is a Vosti design with LMAX steel with this beautiful, uh, satin finish that I have gotten tape goo all over, sorry. Um, and again, contour titanium, you do have a reversible clip that sits on top. Um, it is almost all the way to the end, but a little bit sticking out. You do have a lanyard hole. A um, little short clip for a little short knife. So that is really cool. Basic looking pivot here, captive. So that is great. Blue thumb studs. Love that, of course, and a blue backspacer with some jimping. <clears throat> you do not have any weight relief uh, in there, but don't really need it. This thing is so small and lightweight, it is crazy. Now, <clears throat> I keep getting asked, is this a four-finger knife? So if you're back here in this finger well, I am hanging off the back, but there's a flat spot up here. And so, yes, this is a four-finger knife. Now, I will tell you, that clip is, is kind of high and it is busting me right there, okay? Um, now, you can adjust it in your grip so that it's more tilted like this and now it's hitting in here in the swell of my hand and it's not as bad, but just the normal grip, uh, it is right there. So, um, not, not great there, a little bit of jimping right here uh, on the back of the uh, axis bar. Um, and you can see, guys, this one actually, it is a spring lock, of course, but it actually has really nice uh, pop to it. And of course, it's on bearings, so it's very smooth and droppy, as you can see, uh, as long as you hold it long enough. But uh, it is centered, uh, very well made. Um, and again, when we're locked up, no issues there with uh, the blade and you got no lock rock no blade play no issues there whatsoever very thin uh, i would say this is maybe 0.12 or maybe 0.11 stock we'll see uh on the spec check in just a minute um really cool knife and i'm not gonna spend a lot of time cutting on this video since uh you know bossy knives cut well um, I've not really had a Vosti knife in that didn't come with a good factory edge. Uh, very nice, okay. So now that I've made a mess, let's clean that off. Tell you what, I'm gonna move the packaging here uh, so we don't have any focus issues. I don't like that. You don't like that. We don't like that. All right, we'll do the spec check in a moment. I'm gonna close it. Um, actually, no, let's go ahead and do the spec check, okay? And we'll do our normal comparisons as well. Uh, so again, and we can talk about availability as well. You can see this is the size of a mini bug out in my opinion. It is smaller than the Rat 2 there, which means it is pretty dang small, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, oh great, come on phone. All right, so there are four versions of this and one of them is sold out. 
Um, but it looks like, let's see, is that this one? Yes, it is. So this particular one is available for $139. I will leave a link down below. Uh, there's also a blue Micarta one for $129. And there is also a black bladed carbon fiber one for $139. Um, so if we go and look at this one, it is, um, where's my specs? Come on. <clears throat> Oh, my blade. Okay. 2.69 inch blade with a 6.49 inch overall length. So again, six and a half inches overall. Very, very small. Um, the blade uh, thickness is 0 0.098. So 2.5 millimeters, way thinner. And then you've got this swedge. So that's why it passes through that material so easily. Uh, L Max with a 60 plus two on the HRC. Handle length 3.8 inches overall, 1.77 ounces. So, wow. Ceramic cage bearings, um, and it is designed by Jeff Blauvelt. Blauvelt? I don't, I think that's, if I remember correctly, shoot, who is that? Tough Knives, I believe. Um, so, really cool. All right, we're going to put this one away now. We'll do our comparisons with the big boy in a moment. So, speaking of the big boy, uh, we're going to go ahead and tell you about these. Now, unfortunately, they are all out of stock. And these are right around $250 when they are available, um, the, the full-size PSYOP. All right, we're going to go ahead and tell you about the specs while I'm here. Um, I'm sure they will have more of these available soon. It is a 3.32-inch satin-finished, uh, again, LMAX blade, okay? Um, and the overall length is eight inches, um, and the blade thickness is 0.138 or three and a half millimeters. So quite a bit thicker. We'll do that comparison in a minute. Um, HRC of 60 plus two again on the L max 4.66 ounces, uh, with a handle length of 4.7, um, and a handle width of five, uh, 0.50. And again, designed by the same guy, Jeff, and uh, Tough Knives, and made in China uh, by Vostid. So really, really cool. Now this one, the biggest differences uh, are that this one is in titanium. This is flat scales with big chamfers. You have this really cool milling here, and you have a blue pivot collar. You have a very nice uh, titanium backspacer. You do have a lot of milling for weight reduction on the inside. Now, you have a top liner lock on this one. So you have a compression lock that is button actuated. You have a little button right here, very similar to the one on the Hedgehog or on, um, shoot, what's the name of that other knife? Well, I'm blanking. The Mayhem or whatever it's called at this point. You got good jimping up here. Four finger grip back here, okay? And when you're choked up either here or here, if you're brave enough to stay off of that blade, but I would just go here for me, uh, you're still on that jimping. You have a big swedge all the way down. Again, it is in LMAX. You have a titanium clip on this one uh, that is not reversible. You do have a lanyard hole. Um, very cool knife overall. Now on this one, you also have a front flipper in addition to a hole. Uh, very good actual detent on this. The brake is quite better, um, again, because you have a real detent. And then as far as slicey dicey, um, wow, that's a channel, Casey, but that doesn't exist anymore. Way to rub it in. Uh, way, to, way to go. Um, but you can see, whoops, I uh, ran out of cardboard there. But you can see, very, very well done on that one, uh, for sure on the cutting uh, performance. Wow. All right, now our blade is gross, uh, but that's okay. So, really beautiful knife, and again, a full-size knife. And when I say full-size, is this going to be Rat 1 size? No, it's a little bit smaller uh, than the Rat 1, which is 8.5 inches. And it's a little bit bigger than the rat too. So it's not huge. Uh, by the way, that makes it, since I have one sitting right here, Tempest Fractus size, which is an eight inch knife. Um, 
And so, of course, I have a Fractus sitting here. Hello. Um, so really cool. Now, let's compare it to our small fry here. Here is the PSYOP and the mini PSYOP. Uh, very cool. You can see the PSYOP is way thicker both in the blade and the handle. Uh, can you guys get that? Yep, you should be able to. Um, quite thicker, as you can see. Uh, and um, lengthwise, the mini PSYOP is way smaller, way smaller. Very, very small uh, knife indeed. Um, very cool. So uh, what do you guys think? Which one of these is your preference? Again, right now the PSYOP is not available, but I bet there will be more. Right now the mini PSYOP is. I will leave the links below and uh, you can check those out. So uh, not too bad. We're at 11 minutes. That's pretty good. Thank you again, Vostid, for sending these along. Uh, for me, my preference is the PSYOP. The Mini is just a bit small for me. And again, that clip is quite uh, not good for me. This clip on this one, no issues. Just d disappears, no big deal. So, the, you know, size-wise, it's just not my, my type. I mean, I, I got rid of my Mini Bug Out. Um, and the biggest issue for me for that is it being an axis lock? And let me explain that for a minute. So first of all, being thumb studs, I already have to sort of what I call back up on the knife, okay? So whereas on this guy, I'm gripping it way up here and I got a good grip on the knife and I'm flicking it open like that. On this one, I have to back way up on the clip to hit these thumb studs back like this. Now, can I do it? Yes. Now, when I'm when I'm closing it, now I have to back up onto that lock. And again, I'm just, I don't have a good grip on the knife when I'm actuating it. Uh, and that's the same issue I had with the mini bug out. And it's just, it is what it is. It's a preference thing. So guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what you think down below, which one is your preference. Uh, and thank you for watching. The Knives Fast channel.